been 2012 news for you tonight. Governor John Kasich of Ohio is hitting the campaign trail. His reelection bid brought him to Butler County today, and WLWT News 5's John London is leading the way tonight with his message on job creation. A mere moment before speaking, Ohio's governor learned from an RNC tweet that his state had beat out Texas for the next GOP convention. The Republican National Convention is going to be held in Cleveland, Ohio. Kasich clearly relishes the center stage aspect the selection brings. Touring Hamilton Castor's, a 107-year-old family-run manufacturing plant, he sees it as a perfect podium for his job creation message. To be able to present a Republican Party as a party that's strong economically but cares about people who live in the shadows, it's such a message that the Republicans have not had. And we're doing it. Detractors like these two protesters see Kasich as beholden to moneyed interests at the expense of the middle class. Democrat Sharon Newhart, running mate of Kasich's challenger, Ed Fitzgerald, describes his job numbers as smoke and mirrors. The average Ohioan is not enjoying this recovery, and the average Ohio Ohioan is going to be is hanging on by his or her fingernails. And that's not going to change until we get a governor that knows who he works for. The NFIB, representing 25,000 small Ohio businesses like this one, endorsed Kasich today. I like what he's done with reducing taxes in the state. 350,000 jobs in the hole when he took office, 250,000 to the good as he seeks re-election. And Ohio's back on its feet again. Where's the surprise, right? The Democrats say hold your applause That's while acknowledging some Kasich wins like the recent GE announcement. They suggest much of Ohio's employment gain involves lower end pay. But Kasich supporters are writing campaign ads daily with words like these. He's brought jobs to the state. That it hasn't been brought since Governor Rhodes was here. A reference there to Jim Rhodes, who served four terms as Ohio governor. Republican John Kasich is going for his second, saying the state's economy is improving because Ohio is starting to take care of the basics. Cherie? All right, John London, live from our newsroom. John, thank you. Now, one huge divide between Kasich and Fitzgerald involves money the state used to send to cities and townships here in the state of Ohio. Fitzgerald wants to turn the spigot back on. Kasich cautions against it.